Hey, what's up? This is a very long video in the waiting. This is part three of the CZ upgrade path that I started a while back. I, I just looked at the videos and I was like, crap. But this has been my main competition 22 uh, NRL rifle for two years now almost, I think, something like that. I've got about 2,500 rounds to the gun right now. The barrel's really good. Everything's still shooting really, really accurately but it's always been the stability and uh, the weight of the rifle. It's a very light rifle, uh, even with the big scope on there, a bipod and the wood bullet stock. Uh, this was one of the biggest issues was how wiggly this was back here. Uh, but it's been a great rifle. You saw the upgrade with the Timney trigger. The trigger has been phenomenal. Um, absolutely love it. It would be, I highly recommend on anybody that uh, wants to upgrade their 22 triggers and their CZs is the Timney trigger. It is phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love it. I kind of wish I would have went with a straight bar, but like I said, that's pretty close. But we finally got it in. Um, Altus, um, the shirt I got on right here is actually the Accuracy International match uh, that they put on there. And I helped RO it. For the last two years um well this year uh they are help ro it i helped ro it and uh during it one of the guys was like asking about my 22s if i had ever got the chassis for it yet i was like no every time i go onto their website um mdt's uh you'll see it in a minute <laughs> every time i go onto their website they are out of stock and every time somebody tells me they're in stock by the time i get over there they're already out of stock. So they go out. Why don't you stay right there? Uh, every time I go back in, they're always out of stock. So it's kind of right time, right uh, right place, right time kind of thing. And luckily, this just happened to be the right time in the right place uh, because finally came in. This is, let me flip it over, the MDT Oryx. Uh, chassis, Onyx, however you want to say it, um, chassis system for the CZ457. So we're going to go ahead and just pull it out real quick. I've already checked it just to make sure it was, it was there, but all the tags are still on there. A little, little sticker. You got to get a little sticker. A um, little chamber flag, nice little MDT chamber flag. Uh, don't really need this anymore. Put it over here. But here is the chassis system. Let me flip it this way so you can see it. It is in their OD green panel system. So what's really nice is these are actually polymer pieces. Uh, here, there's one on each side. Flip it over there. And then same thing on the front. There is one on each side. They're actually screwed in, and you can actually change them out if you wanted to paint them, do anything with them. You could just take them off, change the look of the gun really, really quickly. But this is the chassis system. So we're gonna to toss it in real quick, see how it looks and how it feels. There's a couple of things, a buddy of mine has one and I really do like these chassis systems for the price. They are probably one of the best options out there for the price. There's a lot, the more you spend, the more you're gonna get in a lot of these chassis systems. And a lot of times it's the finer details that you're getting or a look that you want. This one isn't like fully skeletonized and got all the uh, like side folding or anything like that. It is a solid piece of aluminum. It is completely just one giant piece. It has M-Lock on the bottom, uh, which I'm going to be putting an Arca rail on here with an Arca adapter for the bipod, which is a Harris, and then a bag rider and stuff like that to get the weight up a little bit. Uh, I don't know about this. Um, this is the MDT Oryx uh, pistol grip. The good thing about this one, it does take AR-15 pistol grip, so you can just change it out wherever you want. If you look there, it is nice and swollen at the bottom, kind of slim in the middle, but it has these thumb rests, so when you get on the rifle, you just basically rest your thumb there. It feels actually not bad. Uh, I'll probably shoot it. We have only one match left in this season, which is the finale. So I'm getting this on here now, <laughs> getting some time in the rifle, make sure everything's good before the finale, have everything adjusted. One thing I will be adding is they have, if you can see this little plate right here, they have plates for this to extend it out and actually add some weight in there. But they also have uh, the MDT 
uh, butt pad, butt pad. Catch that real quick. <laughs> Let me just set that right there. Uh, they actually have the uh, MDT butt pad where you can adjust it and tilt it a little bit uh, to get a little bit more into your shoulder, a little bit flatter. So let's put this chassis on real quick. Uh, I'm not going to show any installation or anything like that. YouTube doesn't like that anymore. So I'm just going to do an installation and then just show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Movie magic, YouTube magic, whatever. Literally, this is the simplest um, installation ever. They send you a little installation booklet. It's literally four steps. You literally remove the trigger guard with its two action screws, put the chassis or the action, the barreled action into the chassis, do a couple of screws, and you're done. So, here we go. That just looks, I think, just awesome. I'm in love with that look. Uh, it is a 16 inch barrel, so the actual end of the chassis system comes pretty close. Um, so it is gonna get, it's got M lock in the bottom section here, but we're gonna put an Arca rail on that. Uh, a couple of nice features of it, has this uh, barricade stop, so you can actually slam it into a barricade to actually get a little bit of pressure on it, so you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, it's got these thumb rests on both sides here, which is, it's nice. Um, I wish it was a little bit wider, but that's something we can, we're actually planning on doing something just to get a little bit more. It's not bad. Uh, honestly, if I didn't, let me go back to zero. <laughs> uh, if I didn't already had messed with other guns with bigger thumb rest, I wouldn't even worry about it. That's, that's plenty of purchase right there. Uh, I might, if I didn't do anything, I would probably put like a little bit of tape there or something, something that's got a little bit of grip right there. Uh, maybe they can do that, do that in the future, actually put like some scalloping or something like that. But we're gonna add some stuff here so we can actually have a little bit larger of a thumb rest. But that's the update now. So now we've got, you know, everything that's done to this rifle. It was this factory CZ 457 with a Boyd's at one stock, which is still, right here so we did you know put some velcro on there just so i can actually run uh, where are we? Here we are. hub city outdoors makes these little uh placards or little velcro uh backwards so you can actually put a cz 457 mag or whatever type of magazines you're using that is similar to this footprint uh i'm probably going to do the exact same thing probably put one somewhere around here like so and probably one on the opposite side. The opposite side will probably be back a little bit. So I've got this ex exposed part portion right here where nothing's going on. So that's probably where that's gonna go. But that's it. I think it looks really, really slick. Everything still works. I don't, yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust it a lot actually probably. Let's see, yeah. You know, I'm probably gonna have to adjust this a little bit raise this up i might even have to shift the optic a little bit more forward but we will get there when we get there so this is the next update hopefully the next time you see it i'll be shooting the nrl 22 match and have everything on here so see ya